So what you missed was me wandering aimlessly, unable to find any clues, because uh, this game is a little bit harder than I expected. It has to be that stupid motherfucking room. It has to be. Sorry, language alert. Okay, come on, come on. Hello? Oh! That's a little different from earlier. There's... Oh no, I don't want to take that girl's teddy bear. She's gonna lose her shit on me. Probably the key, which means she's bound to show up. Why was that early? Oh, but I didn't mean to do what it. The hell, what is going on? Can it be? I see you. Do you? I definitely don't see you. Oh. I don't see you, please. I would love to see you. I'd love to just get that part of the game over with so I kind of know what I'm facing. Can I, can I put the bear down? Can I, can I light a glow stick? Well, I don't need the glow stick. It's fine. I found everything, I think. Threat is a Y sign. I know you're there. Uh huh. I'm notoriously bad at following maps, so if that seems to be something that drives you crazy, I'm so sorry. I always get there, but I don't always follow my net map to get there. Ooh, okay, creepy sound. on a rope. Saving. That never means anything good. Get my glow stick game on point. Why can I only hold four glow sticks? That sucks. Okay, remember the glow sticks are here, Tiffany. Big giant room. Mid Island Hospital, attention all employees. Last night at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were able to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should hold should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch location within the records room stack. That seems like an incredible, an incredible safety breach to lock people in there if you have no electricity. That seems like that shouldn't be legal. This doesn't seem to be working yet. Oh, that's, that's the power that apparently I need to turn back on manually. God, that's, that's so sad. I get we're leaving mental patients then. I guess that's the kind of the risk you take. If this is a mental hospital, that's my assumption from... Oh, yeah, 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 I know it is. I definitely have read that. Don't make stupid comments, Tiffany. Mid-Island Hospital. Attention all employees. We understand that it is difficult to make it outside on your 10-minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. We have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously and climbing over them to serve as lookout. Be advised this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates and medical supplies will not be tolerated. Great. 
<laughs> oh, fucking crow. That had to be a crow. Ooh, piece of candy. Mid Island Hospital Incident Report File. Date, May 1st, 1940. Concerning Miss Daniels' suicide. Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Ugh. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Miss Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Good to know. This isn't the only time this kind of shit goes on. Oh my god. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, what? There's boxes, will you chill? Quit fucking hyping me out over nothing. Okay, let's see. New Kipling Herald. Mid-Island Ghosts from the Past. November 12th, 1967. Mid-Island Hospital was one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history, yet few people know how important its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Exposition, exposition. Kipling citizens accused. Oh, fuck! I pressed the X button. It's fine. Hopefully you guys can just pause and I can read it and go back and, and tell me what it says. Something about six people are killed. Oh! Stop! Stop! Yeah! That's not cool. No, 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 no! Back off, you dumb fucking whore! That's what I goddamn thought! Flare power! Mid Island Hospital Incident Report File, date March 3rd, 1938, concerning patient 90D. While on nightly rounds, Nurse Moriarty noticed patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She's it's inside the glass, but it's fine, he broke through. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary where the, standing, uh, where the attending physician reported he will likely lose both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this. Recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Oh, cool. Okay. Come on. Mid Island Ghosts from the Past, November 12, 1967. And then, there's the hospital, as it stands today, abandoned and refer referred to by the locals as Crow Island. For its o ominous bird population, the hospital and the island sit on... The island it sits on are now more synonymous with rumors about cursings and hauntings. There is hardly a youth in New Kipling who does not entertain the rite of passage of sneaking into the abandoned building and the stories they concoct about hearing voices smelling cigar smoke or even seeing women's shadows wandering the hallways, have done little to preserve the reputation of this once life-saving pillar of our community. Okay. So, what's her name left? That was good. That was nice of her. Hopefully it's not the girl with her little bear. She's a little too old to be. Hopefully she's uh, grown up. Mid-Island Hospital Incident Report File, date March 27, 1981, patient 90D again. Psychiat psychiatric Ward Report. Patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seems extremely high-strung and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. Pa Patrice? Patrice, not Patrice. She's oddly special to him. 
Someone's got a secret girlfriend. Boxes with ropes can be moved. Some objects can be climbed. Oh, cool. That's a really aggressive moving sound. I don't know where I'm moving this box to. Let go. You don't you don't even know what you're doing. Neither of us does. Oh oh, nice. Okay. Hopefully that's close enough. Nice. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself for solving the uh, beginner level puzzles. Oh god. Oh. Let's be out of the dark make you feel better. Well, it shouldn't. <laughs> Thanks. Doctor, you're really very encouraging. It's like I'm playing Ocarina of Time all over again but from a really nauseating first-person view. This is one of those games that when we get the, uh, the virtual reality more better, more better, more improved, it would be really cool to see this. Because that's kind of what they're trying to do anyway. Let me make sure that no, this is important. Oh, way to go, Clarissa. Is that a fucking plank? God damn it. God, I'm an idiot. Subpar gaming brought to you by two girls, one cat. Does that mean I should use a glow stick in here? Oh. Don't you think I won't flare the shit out of you? Come creeping up on me. sound I'm comfortable with. Oh man, this looks exactly like Fatal Frame. That's bullshit. Or not even Fatal Frame. Uh, out, Outlast. Outlast. The stairs and everything look exactly the same as that. I mean, I get it's a mental hospital, so it's kind of just all the same jam, but that disappoints me. So I will give the audio that. It's fucking unsettling as hell. The sounds that get to you. I'm just using this because I'm scared. Was that my footsteps? Was I afraid of my footsteps? Are you kidding me? Watch out, I got the world's loudest footsteps. Fucking Wreck-It Ralph, climbing up the stairs. to the second floor. Uh, looks like everything is freaking covered up. Gotta go down the stairs. Woohoo! Gotta go down the stairs. 
I don't like that sound even in the slightest. Oh, oh, that's. Thanks for your emergency flare, you empty piece of shit. I keep thinking this is gonna be like left for dead, and it's important for me to. Oh! That's a nice touch. That's nice. Thank you. Oh. Hey, did you check that door that was totally open that you never fucking went into? I don't have any more glow sticks. Because I'm super good at my glow stick capacity holding. I kept complaining about how I had too many glow sticks and now... Ooh, wow, I just got chills. Okay, something's behind this door. But Clarissa can't figure out how to undo the lock. Come on, Clarissa. It's really simple. Doors are very rusted. Obviously, considering all the water on the floor. Oh! Oh, I found a flare! That's pretty neat. I'll deal with the flare. Cool stuff everywhere I see, but the bit ran out of glow sticks. Oh man, that cat is being so cute. He just wants so much love. Oh! That fell really silently. Obviously somebody's here. You quit asking that stupid question. I know it's like the human instinct. And, and I've always wondered, do we really say is somebody there because that's natural instinct? Or do we do that because we saw it in horror movies and we think that's natural instinct? The, uh, the, the question of the century. Not only, not only will you get subpar gaming, you'll get subpar intellectual advice. Is anybody there? Is there anybody in there? Called it! Okay. There's gonna be somebody around here. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Okay. Yeah. The key room, but I didn't find all the parts yet, so. Glad I found it. Okay, I might have jumped the gun a little bit on that one. Clarissa put out that flare. I ain't afraid of you, patient. Jay-Z. Suspense has definitely died. I haven't been attacked by really anything, and the one person I was attacked by definitely didn't freak me out that bad. Billy, I'm done with this hospital. I ain't dealing with the boiler room, and one of them orderly saw it too. I ain't. It ain't right. 
I'm not staying here to find out its intentions, George. My guess is I'm going to make my way to the boiler room eventually. I also find that in horror games, I mean, I know it's just a convention, but it's convenient that they staple all of their notes to the walls. Into the floors, so they're very- Ooh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Again, probably jumped the gun on that one. Why do you keep doing this? If you're gonna attack me now, would be super convenient. Nope. Oh, cool. It's one of those skull contraptions. And I found the locked door. Got to get through. I found one of six of those remnants, though. Okay. I'm about to stop the playthrough for right now, right here, knowing that I'm on the second level. Trying to find the key. I got some stuff I gotta go do. Uh, this is two girls, one cat. This is Tiffnado calling out. Talk to you guys later.